you will not feel like you're sick until like your physical appearance kind of like change. I have these girlfriends, so they are very close to me. And that day, they actually came and have like lunch with me. And that was the day that I decided that I wanted to shave my hair. Because it was like really dropping a lot. And then I just didn't want to see it drop. Like we had like this ceremony kind of like thing, like, oh, it's like a shaving head day. As much as I thought I could do it myself, I couldn't. Like at that point, I couldn't. So then uh, my fiancé was like, ah yeah, just do for me first lah. I was like, are you sure? Like, do you really want to do this? And he's like, ah yeah, it's just hair, you know? Like, like, as I was shaving, I cried. He did it lah, he did it for me first because he knew that it was more of like a motivation. After he, I shaved it for him, then I had the courage to do it myself. It was cute lah because like, like my friends were all like, filming, like, oh, badass, you know? <laughs> I mean, shaving my hair was like one of the most painful things during the whole journey. But I think I took it quite well. Like, I just treat it as like a different hairstyle law. I mean, it's just going to be once in a lifetime you're going to be bald, right? Yeah, and I wouldn't be able to make my fiancé go bald again. <laughs> I think my first cycle of chemo, where the drug finally hit me, it was worse than I expected. It was like 3 a.m. in the morning and I was all alone in the hospital. I think at a point of time, I needed to have somebody there. I called the nurse to check my like oxygen and all this kind of thing, my blood pressure. Like, she told me that everything is fine, like you know, like you're okay. I mean, I was so happy that I'm finally going home now, but I was so sad also because I probably won't be seeing like the nurses so often, right? <laughs> I wrote her a note and she also wrote me a note. So I was just writing like a thank you note, you know, like thanks for taking care of me, you know, and all this kind of thing. And then she, she also wrote me a, like, a note, so it was so sweet. La. Like you wouldn't know what will help you through the journey. La. Why choose to be alone when you can build stories with people that your loved ones? Then eventually, you know, when you are okay, there will be meaningful memories with them.